That big old pile of poop sure does excite me. Good morning, modern setters. We need to check on the meat bird chicks and make sure they all survive the night. You ate all your food. That's a good sign. Now that we don't have the pigs anymore, the chickens are getting our food scraps. A lot of modern steaders have been asking and want to know when we're getting our pigs again. I called the pig farmer last night, left him a message to find out. I do know we're getting them in May. I just don't know if it's going to be the middle of May or the end of May. We don't even have any chickens in here to feed you. <laughs> What are you doing in there? Mr. Biggs is in one of the nest boxes. What are you doing, Mr. Biggs, huh? I've never seen you in a nest box before. I wonder if Mr. Biggs is having a bad day and he wishes he was a kid again. I don't know. That's just odd. What's the matter, Mr. Biggs? We had somebody leave in the comments saying our manure load was too high with the chicks in the chicken tractor. That's not the issue right now. What's going on and why it looks the way it looks is our grass is just starting to come in and when we had the chicks here it wasn't, believe it or not. And they are dethatching it and removing all the dead grass. So all the brown you are seeing is dirt. It's not manure, it's just dirt. The grass will start coming in here pretty good in the next couple of days once that sun starts coming out. So we'll be in good shape before you know it. So last year we did a video on why we don't use the Joel Salatin style chicken tractors. This style right here. I'll put a link to that video right here. The biggest reason is they're expensive to make. They're really heavy and they're just cumbersome. So we made the hoop style chicken tractor that you can walk into for a little over a hundred bucks you can make one of those. But they're heavy also. This style chicken coop that we've been building, you can build it for 30 bucks and they're lightweight. I can move them around with ease. The other chicken tractors we have, they have wheels on the back and they're still a pain to move. These ones, I can leave the feed and the water in them, pick them up, move them, and it's so easy. That's why, come on. It's still first thing in the morning, but I'm thinking about dinner and what we're going to be cooking. And I'm thinking some good, fresh, pasture-raised pork chops that we raised right here at Lumna Acres. Sounds good for dinner. Does that sound good to you? Ah, oh, let's see. Is that pork chops? It sure is. You want some pork chops tonight? Not for you. We need to go drop off some paperwork this morning at the town hall. We met with somebody here yesterday afternoon. We're gonna be doing some big changes here at Lumna Acres. It's gonna be exciting. It should all take place within the next week or two. It's gonna be huge, expansive changes that we can do here. It's gonna be game changing for our homestead. I'm so excited. I talked with them and they said we could do some video recording while it's going on. Everything works out. It'll be happening within a week or two.
I had to grab a new cup. My other one won't fit in my cup holder. This is so exciting and nerve wracking. We've been wanting to do this, or planning on doing this ever since we bought the property four years ago now, so woohoo, let's go. We got a bunch of things we need to do before they can start doing whatever they're gonna do if they get to do it in a few weeks. So we need to get to work. One of the first things we need to do is we need to get the pig pasture taken down. We need to take it down anyways, but we gotta make sure it's down now. We move our pigs to a different location every year, so we need to move it, but I just gotta make sure we get it done. So we'll still be getting pigs in May. That was easy. Now people are always saying how dirty and nasty pigs are. I think they get a bad rap for that. See that back there? Yeah, it's a big pile of poop. But you know what? It's all in one area. The pigs use this one back spot to poop and pee in. All up here is just their bedding. On it. <sighs> that was close. I hope this one comes out easier. <sighs> no cross brace. Awesome. That's a good sign. More right here. 
That's gonna make some good compost. Guess what? Yeah, you guessed it right. It's supposed to rain again today. Man. Can't catch a break. That's a chicken spa right there. You know what, we're supposed to have more time, but it's starting to rain out. You gotta go in the house, and I'm gonna go finish picking up all that mess while it's raining again. I love seeing the chickens working in the garden for us. I wanted to come in and get you to show you another use for the Kubota. I think you'll like this one. It stopped raining for a few minutes. Let me show you what I was able to get done. We got the fences all down, as you saw, but I cleaned out all the deep bedding we had, and there was a ton of it. I'll bring you over and show you the pile. But this looks nice. I need to get the IBC tote out of here and get the hay out of it. This pile's huge. I was surprised how big it was. That big old pile of poop sure does excite me. Kind of funny if you think about it, but that's all great poop from our pasture-raised pigs. They're fed organic grain. We got wood chips in there. We got hay in there and I layered it as I was stacking it. So when I came into big clumps of hay, I would switch it up between a big clump of hay, a big scoop of just poop, and then a big scoop of just wood chips, and then with the mixed ones, I would just keep adding them, and so it should be mixed good. That's gonna compost great, and then we're gonna be able to grow some amazing food with it. So not only did we get to raise the pigs and have the pork in our freezer, but they're gonna be growing a lot of good vegetables for us. That's exciting. What are you doing?
Figaro's not scaring off the chickens. Nope. <laughs> Do you ever feel like you're being followed? I knew someone was following me. This is where we're going to end today's video, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow. Bye. Bye. I feel like we keep being followed. <laughs>